Trevor Chosso. Trevor No. Welcome to The Daily Show. <laughs> thank you. We thank say you. it like we're enemies, but we actually <laughs> are very, very old friends. Can I yep. tell you what a pleasure it was for me to discover this? So, I mean, everybody in the world loves Yanis. Yes. You know, I remember the first time I went to Greece, people in the streets just chanting his name, loving the NBA is blowing up in Europe because of him. You know, all around Africa, you know, the NBA is getting bigger yeah, yeah, because yeah. of him. And then I heard that Disney was going to be making a movie. I was like, this is going to be phenomenal. I was like, who's going to direct it? I was like, where do you get somebody who understands Nigeria, but understands being an immigrant around the world, but understands the world of basketball? You can't find a person who knows all of this. <laughs> and then I found out it was you, Akino Motoso, a Nigerian who lived in South Africa, then moved to Los Angeles, who <laughs> loves basketball. Perfect fit. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, let's just start at the beginning. You, you've directed, you know, many movies. You, you, you've told many stories. But what made you think, this is a story I have to tell? Well, I've always been a big basketball fan. So right. anyone who knows me knows basketball. I'm the guy. And then I became really obsessed with African players in the NBA. Yeah. So every time there's the draft, I'll check, well, who's, what are the names that resemble <laughs> the ones that we recognize, right? And what's their story to get to the draft? Yeah. So when, when Giannis was drafted and I read his story in 2013, he hasn't bounced the ball. This is before being a two-time MVP and all this stuff. I read his story and I said, if ever I make a basketball movie, it's this gentleman's story I want to tell. It really is a story worth telling because people see him now, you know, and he's a star, the Greek freak, and it, it seems obvious. But man, when you watch the movie, you realize what a journey he was on. You went to those locations and you made the story in the real place. You, you could have done it anyway. You could have faked it. Why did you go to the actual land where it happened? For me, that authenticity was important. Uh -huh. like, like you had to, you know, in the movie, the basketball court where they're on, that's the basketball court he started playing. When, when he's sleeping in the gym, that's the gym he slept in. You know, where they're selling, that's where, they, that's where they're sold. So that, that authenticity for me was just important. You know, you talk about him sleeping in a gym. You talk, you know, we saw the clip with the shoes. People really don't understand how hard Yanis and his family worked to get here. And, and what was interesting was in, in the making of the movie, you know, we saw, for instance, with the Williams sisters, they, they were heavily involved in the telling of the story because they wanted their story to be told accurately. Yana said the same thing here. He said, I do not want this to be about me because this is about what the family did to get me here. So how did you gain his trust? How did, how did he say, no, you know what, you are, you are the right guy and, I, and, and you get it? What, what was that connection like? So the thing is, like, firstly, what a generous gift, the family. Like, as you see him with the family, mm -hmm. that's how it was. Like, he, he wanted to make sure that his... The sacrifices of his mom and dad came through. That, oh. It's a love letter to his parents. Right. You know? um, he has that beautiful speech in his MVP speech where he says, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't see the future, but your parents see the future for you. And, mm. he, and they had parents that saw the future for them. So every meeting with them is a family meeting. It's Giannis, it's Veronica, it's Tanasis, Costas and Alex, producer Bernie Goldman and the folks from Disney, we all gather around to discuss the film. Like it's a family affair, you know? Um, and they were so generous. I mean, his mom gave us access. Yetide, who plays his mom so beautifully. Yes. She had uh, Veronica's number. We could call on them. You know, it was, it was a real family affair. And, and I think that they were so open to us having access and getting the story right. And for me, I wanted to get it right. There was no, uh, like, I was very happy to like, Giannis, is this how it went down? Mm -hmm. and, he, mm -hmm. and they were so generous like that. So it was great. Let's talk about Yanis himself. You know, I, I like that you said he gave a motivational speech, you know, when he was the MVP. It seems like this is how he sees the world. Every press conference I've seen of his, he says something inspirational. You yeah. know, people go like, oh, you, you, you had a great game. What does this mean for the future? He's like, that game has passed. I'm only looking to what I'm going to yeah, do yeah, next. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're only as good as your last game. But he seems like he lives this. In, in, in dissecting his story, did you find where the magic came from? What is it? that managed, you know, where a family managed to create three NBA champions. How, like, how is that possible? Well, I think, like I said, you know, the first time you hear the story, mm -hmm. you go, this is amazing. This right. is an amazing right. story. How is this possible? And then you meet them and they're so authentic. And I think it's that humility and the understanding. I mean, the other day, um, he, they were asking him about the Greek team. How is the team going to adjust to you? And he's like, no, I adjust to the team. Wow. Uh, you know, and so that's the mantra. And I think that's, that's the thing that everybody responds to.